Welcome to Smart Living Training LCD Keypad Overview and Operation. We're going to take a look at the overview of the keypad and also the user operation. The LCD keypad has a four line alphanumeric display, programmable terminal, integrated buzzer, programmable keypad tamper, four quick access function keys which can access up to 12 global functions, 12 individual access functions per user, custom icons for function keys, and an icon and text view for user shortcuts. The red arm status LED indicates arm status in any partition and also indicates system alarm. The fault status LED indicates if there are any system faults present or if there is a zone bypassed. The zone status LED indicates if all zones are sealed and if there is a voice message on a touchscreen keypad. The power status LED indicates that AC power is connected. The first line in the LCD keypad shows the date and the time and if the keypad is in maintenance mode. It is also possible to display unsealed zones on this line. Line 2 displays area partition status on the left and system faults on the right. Multi-area arm status is indicated by the letters. A dash means that a partition is not enabled. System faults are displayed via an icon. The description for these icons can be found in the installer manual and user manual. The bottom two lines display the shortcut icons. Pressing the right arrow key scrolls between three pages of shortcuts. The function keys also double as dual press emergency buttons. Press the corresponding touchscreen button for two seconds to trigger the same emergency function. The number pad is used for user code entry, for programming, and the enable disable buttons down the bottom are used to switch options on and off. The menu navigation keys allow the user to navigate through menus. User menu is accessed by pressing OK before entering a code. The OK button is also used to save any change settings that a user has made in a menu. The escape key is used to exit the main menu back to the main screen. This will cancel any changes that have been made without pressing OK first. The C button is used to jump back one menu space and when in user menu mode, will toggle between the three user menu options. Pressing OK and entering a user code will display the user's default menu. Pressing the C button will change the menu display. Pressing again will toggle to the next display. The keypad wiring harness is a six wire harness with four wires for the data bus and two wires for the programmable input output terminal. Keypad operation and codes. To access the user menu, press OK followed by the user code. The default code 0001. Users can be granted access to individual user menus. Users can also have individual menus programmed as shortcuts. The installer's menu is accessed by entering in the installer's code, then pressing OK. The default installer's code is 9999. By default, users can quick arm the system by pressing the shortcut F1 key, provided the system is in a ready state. This will be indicated by the blue ready state LED being on. If the system is not ready, the unsealed zones will be displayed on the screen and require the user to press the OK button to tell the system to arm. To arm multiple partitions, simply press the right arrow two times to get to shortcut page three. Press the F4 key to open up the arming menu. Enter in your user code and use the left and right keys to select the partition and the up and down keys to change arming. To disarm, simply enter a user code. To silence an alarm, even when the panel is in a disarmed state, press the F3 key and enter a user code. To bypass zones, press the F2 key shortcut and enter a user code. Use the check option keys to bypass the zones and press OK to save. To view system logs and faults, press the right arrow key to go to shortcut page 2 and use the F1 through F4 keys to view the event log, alarm log, fault log and delete memory. To operate outputs, press the right arrow key two times to go to shortcut page three. Press the F1 key to open output control menu, 
enter a user code, and use the check option buttons to control the output. Only outputs assigned to a user will be listed. To change the user code, press the right arrow key two times to go to shortcut page three. Press the F2 key, enter in an existing master user code, and select the code to change, then press OK. User code one is the only code enabled by default. Additional codes must be enabled in installer programming. This concludes the training module.